Uh, no, just set it over here by the catwalk so once we get all their tools laid down, we can just pick it up and come right back up with it. So we are drilling a geothermal well. That consists of uh, drilling in hard granite. It's softer shells in Oklahoma, and it's harder out here, so it's harder drilling. We go through a lot more bits, do a lot more tripping out here. Basically, I'm just operating the rig up and down, picking up pipe, putting pipe in the hole, making sure that it's uh, good to go and that we're rotating, and if we have any troubles, you know, to stop and address the troubles that we have. We had a little bit of trouble today uh, backing out of the landing joint. When we went to back out of it with the CRT, it hung up and wanted to rotate the uh, landing joint. We don't want this uh, landing joint hanger to turn, so we're going to have to get a set of backup tongs to hold the casing so we can back out of the casing and uh, get it rigged down. So anything that goes on out here is, is my responsibility. It's a lot of uh, strenuous work at times. Not very many people like it out here. I mean, they, they really don't. It's just, it's, uh, it's work out here. My day usually starts out as waking up to my alarm at 4.45, then coming down here to the job site, getting ready, getting dressed ready for work, make sure Everybody's got all their PPE on, and uh, we go over into the safety meeting that uh, talks about the day and what we're going to do. It's the same as test BOPs, 250 low and 3,000 high. Five minutes on the low, 10 minutes on the high. Anything you need to add, Mr. Mark? Just make sure that we're honoring our uh, buffer zones, especially while testing. And then uh, we come out, make relief with the other hands that was on tower, and uh, get good relief notes. No, I think we'll run that same pole. We just got to flip that over for the test plug. Right. Everything else, I mean, went pretty smooth tonight. That's good. We'll have our little flex check, and uh, we'll go about what we need to finish up, tightening up and making up. And then uh, just to execute on that day and uh, try to uh, overcome any obstacles that may arise. So all that black over there, is uh, that's the, their solar farm over there. Then you get your wind energy. They say this is the second largest geothermal site in the world. It's pretty exciting to be a part of something like this and to uh, be a part of the future, something that you can tell your, your kids, your grandkids about. <laughs>